now is the best time to collect for the seventh generation consoles. The Nintendo Wii, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. The prices of the games for these consoles at CX at the moment is dirt cheap. And now is the time to collect for them. Hello again folks and welcome back to another episode and today I'm going to explain to you why you need to head to your local CX to pick up games for the Xbox 360, the Playstation 3 and the Nintendo Wii. These games are super cheap at the moment and here's the thing, I don't think they're going to get much cheaper. The selection of games for these three consoles in my local CX and probably yours around the country is getting smaller. Now is the best time to buy for these consoles while the games are cheap and while they're still easy to get hold of. Today we're going to head to my local CX store in Norwich and I'm going to show you just what I mean about these games. There's some really cheap games so whether you are starting collecting you want to build your collection even further, now is the time to do it. And even if you're not a collector, I'm going to be showing you some of the games to keep an eye out for that still trade in for good trading credit at CX. So, let's hit the road, let's get to CX. But before we head off to CX, I just want to remind you folks, if you enjoy this kind of video, please hit that like button and please subscribe. As I put new videos out every Saturday live at 5, as well as bonus content like this one throughout the week. And I really want you folks along for the ride. Now, let's get hunting. Here we go then, my second home, the CX store here in the centre of Norwich. And the Xbox 360 section is getting smaller by the week and is now just taking up this one wall in the back of the store. And I definitely think by the end of 2023, this would have once again shrunk in size. So I just want to reiterate, now is the time to buy for the Xbox 360. While not considered retro, the Xbox 360 is definitely getting a little bit older, but there's so many good franchises to play on this console, such as the Assassin's Creed franchise and exclusives such as Gears of War. And trust me, if you need a copy of Gears of War, CX has you covered, but there's so, so much more to see in this section. The Xbox 360 has some great cover shooters, and this is one of the best and even better is co-op, Army of Two. From the days when EA was a reputable game company, this one is a little bit rough, but for like the price, you can't really go wrong. This is an absolutely fantastic game, both in single player, but even better in co-op play. Here's a top tip. Keep an eye out for these boxes when you're in CX, as it means they have a steelbook in stock, and they're normally not that much more expensive than the standard game. The Xbox 360 had so many good first person shooters like so so many and battlefield 2 why not the best is definitely one that's worth having in the collection as well as all of these battlefield games basically all of the battlefield games on the xbox 360 are absolutely fantastic this truly was the absolute golden days of the battlefield franchise the Xbox 360 also has loads of amazing racing games. This is one I think a lot of people overlook, Blur. It's like Forza mix of Mario Kart. It's absolutely fantastic. Another great shooter on Xbox 360 is Body Count. Very, very violent, very good game. And also keep an eye out for these Game of the Year editions that have all the DLC on the disc. It's worth noting, it's worth keeping an eye out in CX in case you ever come across any of these promotional copies of games for the Xbox 360. Now, in theory, I don't think CX should actually sell these, as I think all over them it says not for resale, not for sale, but they're a cool little collectible, and if you see them in store, you might as well pick them up. They're normally pretty cheap. I think one of the best things about collecting for the Xbox 360 is the absolute range of games, from the cheap to some of the more expensive games such as Deadpool here, which even at £15 is still a fairly cheap game to add to your collection. But there's just so many cheap games, there's literally games of every kind and sort, you've got some of the best RPGs, racing games, fighting games, oh, just everything. And there's just so many hidden gems like Face Breaker. I'm not normally a fan of boxing games, but that is a fantastic one. And there's just so many games, even if they still have so many copies of FIFA in every CX, it just goes to show these games are just so, so varied. As we all know, many of us have traded in a copy of GTA to CX before. They just have so many copies of this, but the price of this game is all over the place. It's gone back up again, I think, at the moment. A couple of weeks ago, it got super duper cheap. But here's a game I haven't seen before, Harry Potter Connect. This is the thing with the Xbox 360. There's literally thousands of games, and you never know what you're going to find, even if it's normally a copy of Connect Adventures, which I think must be one of the most printed games of all time. Some of the Connect games are pretty good. There's also all the kind of classic Lego games in the Xbox One. Here's one to always keep an eye out, Left 4 Dead 2, great trade-in. 
The Marvel Armor Alliance games are some of the best Marvel games of all time. They're on other consoles, but I think they play best on the Xbox 360. But I did not realize this about Armor Alliance 2. This game has actually shocked me how much cheaper this game is than it used to be. I'm sure this used to be like a 20, 25 pound game. It's now down to 10 pounds. I used to play this a lot with friends. I don't physically own a copy myself, but for 10 pounds, I had to pick this one up. One of the most exciting things about the Xbox 360 is the range of games. It's just the kind of range of genres. There's also the price range. So whatever kind of budget you have for game collecting, there's something you can pick up. Like there is some more expensive games like their Metal Gear collection there. But some of the cheaper games like Perfect Dark Zero, this is a Steelbook edition for £4. It may not be the best Perfect Dark game of all time, but for £4 is a really good bargain. Some of these Need for Speed games are creeping up like Carbon, which is £10. But there's just so many games on the Xbox 360. And like, if you're a fan of everything, even if you you're a retro game fan this mega drive ultimate collection even though this one just never seems to drop in price i think these collection games because they're just games that people will always want to play they never go down in prices and that simpsons game is absolutely fantastic i've been playing that recently on ps2 there's some really good sonic games on the xbox 360 and really good fighting games such as soul caliber 4 which for two pounds you need in your collection it always surprises me how some games on the Xbox 360 just hold their value. I remember picking up this Spider-Man 3 game absolutely years ago in like the bargain basement clearing bins, but now it's actually becoming quite expensive. Some really good Star Wars games on here. There's some really good fighting games, like the Street Fighter games are really cheap and really, really good games. The Xbox 360 is just a fantastic console to collect for, regardless of what kind of genre of games you like. If you're looking for cheap games, there is so many, such as this Turning Point game. It might not be the best first person and shooter of all time but it's just a bit of a twist on that classic world war ii shooting kind of game and yeah of course there's many many wrestling games and games such as the worms collection which i'm actually surprised how expensive that is but this is the thing with the xbox 360 there's literally something for everyone whatever you want to play there's a game for you Next up is the PlayStation 3 section, and much like the Xbox 360 section, this is definitely getting smaller and smaller. I'm sure like six months ago, this used to be three times the size. It just goes to show, now is the time to buy for the PlayStation 3. Sure, there are some expensive titles still, like the Spider-Man games, which inexplicably are just really, really expensive. So if you see them cheap, they're definitely worth picking up. But don't worry, there's still some really, really good cheap games to pick up on the PlayStation 3, including this game, Bayonetta. Seriously, if you are a gamer, you owe it to yourself to play that game. It is absolutely mad, but it is absolutely fantastic. And at that price, it can't be missed. The Dark Souls games still hold the same kind of price. They've held for ages on the PlayStation 3. These are games that just don't ever seem to go down in value. But again, if you see them cheap, they are worth picking up. But a fantastic game which cannot be missed for the price tag is Darksiders. This is like a mix between God of War and Zelda. It's absolutely fantastic kind of open world adventure game. Really, really good game. It's available on other consoles as well, as well as this game, Dishonored. Now, this was the Game of the Year edition. I think this has all the DLC on the disc. The problem was this one did look a little bit rough. I don't think it kind of comes across in the video. It had some kind of pretty nasty prangs on the box. But keep an eye out for this one because for £2.50 of all the DLC, it's a bargain. I think it's very easy to forget the eye toy, the peripheral that never really took off for the PlayStation 3 and like the move controls. But this is what I think was a really fun game, the Eye of Judgment. It's obviously a PlayStation 3 exclusive. I think you can play this with the cards or without. It's a really weird game. It's, a, it's just exclusive at the end of the day. For a quid, you need a few PS3 collection. Of course, no PlayStation 3 collection is complete without the God of War games. These still hold their value pretty well, and I'm actually surprised they haven't been ported across to other consoles yet. I think we're kind of just having the more different feeling Kratos. Again, with the PlayStation 3, it's all about the kind of varieties. We have God of War and Greece, the move game. Heavy Rain and Heavenly Sword are both amazing kind of exclusives as well to the PlayStation 3, as well as this version of House of the Dead Overkill, the best way to play one of the swearest games ever. Here's a question for all you collectors. If you own a game on one console, either the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3, will you buy it again on another console? So many of these games were released on both consoles. How do you decide? Normally for me, as just kind of a bit of a completionist, I will just buy multiple copies of the game. But this is a game that's definitely better on the PlayStation 3 Mortal Kombat because this is the complete version as well, all the DLC characters, one of those characters being Kratos, and trust me, if nothing else, his finishes are absolutely brutal. 
When you're looking through the PlayStation 3 games, I think one of the most important things to find is the exclusives, as these are the games that are probably going to get more expensive, and these are the games you want to add to your collection now. Games such as not Rambo, because it's awful, trust me, don't play it, it's terrible. Games like Ratchet and Clank, I have seen these get more and more expensive, so now is definitely the time to grab these ones. We're coming to the end of the PlayStation 3 games here and the end of today's hunt. And something I would look out for is PlayStation Move games as there is literally only one way to play these games and it is on the PlayStation 3 using that Move paraphernalia. It might not have been the most popular add-on ever, but it's the only way to play it. I just want to know, Sony, what happened to the Resistance games? They were fantastic. As I said earlier, Soul Calibur 4, Darth Vader, only playable on the PlayStation 3. But we are coming to the end of this hunt through CX Day. Sadly, there was nothing for the Nintendo Wii that kind of took my interest. So we won't be filming any of that today. But it just goes to show you can pick up cheap games still for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. But now is the time to buy them. Now, back to the games room. Let's go through those pickups. Here we are then back in the games room. And I managed to pick up a literal stack here of games for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. Sadly, there wasn't really much there in the Nintendo Wii section today. But don't worry, because these prices are so cheap, I'm definitely going to be doing this again soon in another CX store. But now, let's get into these pickups. I'm going to show you what games I picked up in this awesome pile. We're starting off our Xbox 360 pickups, and trust me, now is the time to buy these games for multiple reasons. Firstly, they are cheap, and secondly, every day, more and more of these games are disappearing from the digital stores. Trust me, you can buy them cheap now, own them physically, and own them forever. So now, let's get into these Xbox 360 pickups. One of my favourite kind of games on the Xbox 360 is couch co-op games, and there are not many better couch co-op games than Army of Two. This is essentially like a cooperative shooting game and you really do have to work together. Literally back to back in certain instances and literally if you do not work together in this game you will die. And I definitely recommend playing through this game with a friend rather than the AI which can be a little bit weird at times. But again this is a throwback to when EA made good games. I'm sure there's probably some DLC for this game but for £1.50 there is a lot of content to so grab a friend, grab two controllers and jump into Army of Two. Battlefield 2 Modern Combat was one of my first experiences of playing Battlefield on a console. This was also released on the OG Xbox, but this is the slightly better way to play this kind of worse version of Battlefield 2 on the PC. It's probably very difficult to play this online now, but it's still a solid Battlefield game. And it just kind of reminds me of when Battlefield meant something, when EA made good Battlefield games. Yes, we had some good Battlefield games after this, but the more recent ones have lost some of the magic, which makes Battlefield 2 a definite worth pickup. I really enjoy the XCOM games. I have heard some mixed reviews of the Bureau XCOM Declassified, but I wanted to pick this one up. It was only £2, and also it is a promotional copy, which... You know, if you're kind of investing in your collection, maybe these promotional games will be worth more somewhere down the line. I can, this is the thing, when the Xbox 360 games are cheap like this, £2, you can kind of take a risk and add games to the collection. Soul Calibur 4 is one of the best fighting games on the Xbox 360. It was sorely missing from my collection. I can't believe this game is down to £2 now. I'm sure a few months ago, this was like a £4 or £5 game. It just still boggles my mind to this day why the Star Wars characters in these games are exclusive to their consoles. I know all the Soul Calibur games have done this, but it's just been so cool to be able to fight Darth Vader versus Yoda. But if you want to play as Yoda, this is the only way to do it on the Xbox 360. And for £2, it's rude not to. The Xbox 360 has literally hundreds of amazing first person shooters. And yes, Turning Point is definitely not one of the better ones. But it's just really interesting seeing that kind of alternate history where the Nazis did win World War II. It's not the worst first person shooter, but it's miles away from being the best. But for a pound, it's definitely worth checking out, especially if you like your kind of alternate histories. Marvel Armor Alliance 2 is one of my all-time favourite games for the Xbox 360. I used to play this with mates all of the time, and now is the best time to buy this game, as I have never seen it this cheap before. Just £10, and this just goes to show, now is the time to buy Xbox 360 games in CX, and now more than ever is the time to buy physical games in CX. Because Disney now own the rights to Marvel, this game will probably never be available again digitally. So, if you have the disc, it can never be taken away from you. This did have some amazing DLC, which is probably impossible to get now, but this is a game that needs preserving. This is some of the best Marvel storylines of all time, and it's absolutely essential on the Xbox 360. 
I don't know if it's just me, but my CX store always seems to have a lot less PlayStation 3 games than it does Xbox 360 games. But I still managed to pick up three PlayStation 3 games for the collection this time. First off, I picked up Darksiders. This is an absolutely fantastic game. If you're a fan of kind of open world exploration games, it's a bit like God of War, it's a bit like Zelda. It's really interesting and for £1.50, it is a lot of game. You can also pick up the second game for the same price. Unfortunately, I didn't have it in my CX this time, but it's definitely one to keep an eye out for. I might get a bit of judgement for this one, but I think it's worth picking up the Eye of Judgement. This is kind of like one of those augmented reality games, it kind of scans in your cards using the PlayStation 3 camera and they kind of play out the combat on the screen. It's definitely an acquired taste, it's definitely a bit of an oddity, but I think this one of those PlayStation 3 exclusives that for a pound, everyone needs in their collection. If you didn't already know, I'm a massive wrestling fan and I'm going for a complete WWE and WWF game collection. I had to pick this game up, WWE 13. Up until the release of WWE 2K22, this was my favourite wrestling game in recent time. And this game has been out for 10 years. But trust me, if you want to play a wrestling game on the Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3, this is the one. It has the best controls, the best roster, the best storyline. It is set in the Attitude Era. It is absolute wrestling game royalty. It is fantastic and for £2, you don't want to miss it. It just goes to show that now is definitely the time to buy for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. I managed to pick up all of these games for just over 20 quid. And considering one of these games was £10 alone, it just goes to show game collecting doesn't have to be expensive. But it is all about timing and trust me, now is the best time to collect for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. But let me know down in the comments down below, what games would you recommend picking up cheap from CX at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and as always, keep playing the game. See y'all soon.